neoplasm, malignancy, the big C, all words synonymous with cancer. But have you ever stopped to think about why cancer cells are so tricky and what makes them so different than normal cells? I'm cancer physical therapy specialist, Dr. Leslie Walke. Put on your pocket protectors and nerd glasses and join me in the recovery room classroom for super simple cancer biology 101. Cancer is a global term for uncontrolled growth or more specifically uncontrolled division of abnormal cells. So a normal lung cell becomes abnormal and then it divides making two abnormal cells. Then those two abnormal cells divide and make four abnormal cells. And then the four turns to eight, the eight to 16, the 16 to 32, and on and on and on. Though different cancers have different cell division rates, the cell doubling process usually takes weeks or months. When this grouping of cells gets big enough to where it can be detected, it is usually called a tumor. Now this is a really gross generalization, but for the average epithelial cancer, it takes about 50 million cells to make a one centimeter tumor. Okay, so let's get into the biology of cancer cells. There are well over 100 different kinds of cancer, but they all have four relatively similar distinguishing characteristics. And those characteristics are uncontrolled cell proliferation, lack of apoptosis, angiogenesis, and metastasis. Let's break down those four pieces. First, uncontrolled cell proliferation. Proliferation means a rapid increase in numbers. In cancer cells, this rapid continual dividing is sometimes due to the cell's growth signals going haywire, sometimes from the cell's growth factors getting their foot permanently stuck on the accelerator, or the brakes on cell growth completely stop working. Number two, a lack of apoptosis. Apoptosis is defined as programmed cell death. Each cell in our body is built for a specific purpose and built to a work for a certain amount of time. As a normal cell reaches its expected age limit, apoptosis is the molecular process that leads to cell death, so old cells can be replaced by new cells. This process can be blocked in many types of cancers, so even as the abnormal cells age, they don't die off. In normal healthy tissues, proliferation and apoptosis balance each other out. So there are usually the correct amount of cells in all of our body parts. In the case of cancers, when there is a lack of apoptosis plus uncontrolled cell growth, you can see how with time, cancer cells start to take over the playground. And when they do this, they start to cause problems with that body part's ability to function normally. Okay, now on to our third characteristic of cancer cells, angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is the name for new blood vessel formation. Normal angiogenesis in the tissues of our bodies is usually a tightly regulated process. Ah, but tricky cancer cells often learn how to release their own chemicals to override the normal controls, resulting in their ability to create their own blood supply to support their uncontrolled rapid growth. And finally, the fourth abnormal characteristic of cancer cells is their ability to metastasize. Metastasis is the ability of the original cancer to travel throughout the lymphatics or bloodstream and set up shop somewhere else in the body where it will still continue to grow and divide. This is why metastatic cancer is so dangerous. Please note, if a cancer metastasizes to somewhere new, it is still named and treated by where it originally came from. For example, lung cancer cells can travel to the brain. The new tumor in the brain is not brain cancer, it is lung cancer metastasis in the brain. If a person's breast cancer metastasizes to the lungs, the new cancer in the lungs is still breast cancer and will be treated with breast cancer drugs, not lung cancer drugs. So in review, the four characteristics that make cancer so sneaky are uncontrolled proliferation or a nonstop overgrowth of cells, a lack of apoptosis or cell death, angiogenesis, the tumor's ability to make its own blood supply, and metastasis, the ability of the cancer cells to travel to other parts of the body. I'm Dr. Leslie Walke, signing out from the recovery room, 
Thanks for joining me on this educational journey of Cancer Cell 101. No matter your age, income, or vocation, education is awesome. The more you know, the better decisions you can make. Learn well, care for yourselves well. We'll talk again soon.